We back, man. We back in Beaver State. It's our house. The defense only goes as far as we go as this unit. We lead. We make the plays. We set the tone. And intercepted. Into the end zone. Kaseki. Touchdown. And the game is open. Saquon. Say gone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. This is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. Any questions on their personnel? What you guys got together? Got a couple of notes that we'll hit in the walkthrough, some corrections from the other day. Uh, we'll make sure we get to those. Uh, but let's watch this film. Okay, this was from two minutes the other day. We went, uh, I believe this was red, wasn't it? Bench tab, cheetah, red, so we're playing white, right? We're playing white out to this, all right? We're still in a Bronco with the will. So you're still Bronco in two week. And then the Mike, you would Bronco three. If they Xerox the back, it doesn't matter. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. These guys will Xerox the back and snap the ball pretty quick. So never get too far from that quarterback in five to eight yards is plenty of depth. Everybody understand that? <coughs> it's really talking nothing different for the will, whether we go red or white. It's a little bit different for the mic. What, where are you going to line up on this tight end? On the outside. Yep. And so when he does this, you got it. You own it. You're on his outside pad and you have him. You ain't looking at the quarterback, you're looking at your man and you're on his outside pad. And for, you know, just for the record, we'll try and, we will signal Cheeto gold. So there's no trio, there's no Broncos. Want to make sure we're all on the same page there. All right, I'll see you out there. University Park, Pennsylvania, expecting a sellout crowd of over 106,000 here today for the sixth meeting of Akron and Penn State. Finally here. All that work we put in the offseason, all that grinding together, all that talking about what we're going to do, that talking about, ain't no talking about it now. It's finally here. Hold yourself to the standard right here, right now. It starts today. RB zone three, one, two, three. Let's get it. They come off the leash today, man. Huh? I'm off the leash. Represent the standard, man. Standard of excellence, bro. Standard of excellence. Our recipe will always be the same. We just go play harder than everybody. Week in and week out. That's who we are. This is what it's all about right here. The men in this room. This is why we coach the game. This is why you play the game. Who's our house? Who's our house? Gates are open. James Franklin in front of his football team. And here come the defending Big Ten champion, Nick Lyons of Penn State. Five weeks, this football team has been practicing against each other. They have now the ability to go out there and play against another opponent. This football team is ready to go. It's been building, and now here it is. The 2017 season is underway. First down and 10. Ball swarmed and brought down to the 32-yard line. They'll lose three. Set up the screen. Ball loose. It's on the ground. Buckles coming in over the top. Hopkins takes it to 40. Makes the first man miss. Second one miss. 45. 50. 
This is real. This isn't an act. Tompkins, touchdown, Nittany Lions. And for the first time since Derek Williams in 2008, the Nittany Lions have returned a punt for a score. Give your boys some of that, baby. DeAndre is a great kid. Uh, he's going to have more to come this year. The speed that he has, the vision that he has. I was talking to him before the game. I said, today I feel like you're going to get one. Once I saw that penalty and I said re-kick, all re-kicks end up bad. So um, I knew he was going to get a chance there. And the good thing about it, especially on special teams, is that now that you know somebody can take it there, you know, all the guys are always going to put that effort in to try to get it there. This is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. Third down and eight. One on one coverage, and over here, eight. makes a spectacular interception. What a play. And that's my roommate. That's my roommate. And that's my roommate. Saquon Barkley, first carry of the year. Picking up about eight yards. His athleticism is off the charts. The, the change of direction and the ability to explode. It's Sorley serving downfield. Caught at the 28 yard line to Deshaun Hamilton. It's Sorley back. Looks right. Now fires that way. In the end zone. Kaseki. Touchdown, Penn State. And the Nittany Lions go to the second quarter with a 14-0 lead. Back goes Woodson. Got it knocked away at the last second by Amani Oyewerie again. Woodson with no one to go swarm and tackled for a loss. Look at that push. Look at that drive inside. Sorley, quarterback draw wide open, walks into the end zone, touchdown Penn State. And that quarterback draw by McSorley has been open all day, and he just walks into the end zone untouched. Penn State with a 21-0 lead. Takes the snap, he's buried for a loss. Defense has really come out here and set the tone early. Buried again. Windsor led that charge again that time. McSorley has a man, Jawan Johnson, who had an outstanding training camp. Got a good block and rolls this in for the touchdown. Third down at 15, Woodson back to pass. Runs out of time. Hit by Buckholtz. Down he goes. Barkley getting to the edge. Turns the corner. Barkley. Goodbye. You see this freight train coming at you. Do you really want to get in front of this? 230 pounds, and he's got a shoulder he can lower. At the half, the Nittany Lions have done what they hoped they would do. They lead Akron 35 to nothing. I'm excited about the investment that we're making on special teams, and it's really starting to pay dividends for us. I thought our run, our run defense has been excellent. I thought Amani Arue's play on the long ball was really good. So in all these different phases, we're doing well. I like where we're at. Dogs out. Do not be satisfied with the score right now. You're not done yet. Do not be satisfied with the score right now. Let's keep the foot on the gas now. Let's go. 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 Communication has been really good. I tell you what, <coughs> the pursuit has been awesome. I just know what I gotta do. Second half. Give it a ball. Ball hit by Torrance Brown and dropped. This Penn State defense has been up to the challenge today. Barkley on the ball. Oh, 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 oh. A hand on him. Yep. He broke more tackles than anyone in <laughs> SBS last year. 
That quickness, that lateral movement, and the finishing speed is amazing. Sorley wants to throw. Back. Waits, delivers down the middle. Johnson's got it. Johnson is really starting to come along. Good snap, put down. The kick by Davis is on its way. The kick by Tyler Davis is gone. A career long 47 yard field goal for Tyler Davis. Barkley will route 45 40. Inside the 20 and down. I think we've seen that play before. Second touchdown reception of the game. Flushed out. Being chased by Miller to the far sideline. They give it to Steven, sweeping near side. He wants to throw downfield. He's got Hamilton. McSorley will exit, and Stevens will run the show the rest of the way through. Stevens takes it, will keep it himself to the five. Tommy Stevens, touchdown, Penn State. And the Nittany Lions crack the 50-point barrier. And this one is over. Penn State with an emphatic, impressive 52 to nothing trouncing of Akron in their season opener. I, I, I couldn't be more proud of our preparation from the beginning of camp to now. And that's what happens when you sacrifice and you commit the way you guys did. You played the, the, probably the most complete football game we played since we've been here in three years. Let's get a break on DeAndre Thompson. Yeah! Yeah! Let's do this every week, bro. Every, every week. week. Nobody oh. can stop us. Family on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Sam Bollinger is driven on and off the pitch. When he graduated from State College Area High School, he went to Penn State to start a journey to a degree and elected to play soccer for the club team. I always dreamed of playing at Penn State, but I never really had the confidence that I could do it fully. When you love the sport as he does, you want more. Seeing that opportunity present itself to me was incredible. It, it meant the world to me, but it just wasn't the same level of competitiveness. There wasn't the same commitment that I was used to. So I kind of just decided after my freshman year that I was going to do everything I could to put myself in a position to get on the varsity team. Head coach Bob Warming could see a difference right away. Typically it doesn't work out very well for everybody that tries out. So the very first thing we do is we do this fitness test. We start the, the tryout of all these kids. I think there was about 60 of them. And within a minute, Sam is starting to lap. <laughs> the other guys already in one minute in he is so far ahead of everybody else that it made you take notice after making the team sam bollinger made another critical decision following his father's footsteps by majoring in chemistry listening to my dad talk about his work growing up i never ever in a million years thought i would be in chemistry i've always kind of like wanted to keep my options open. After college, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and I wanted to leave the medical route open. He is driven toward the medical profession because of the death of his mother. My mom passed away from ovarian cancer. She, I think, was diagnosed in 2006, passed away in 2013, and that kind of was, you know, made me decide that I wanted to go into medicine to, to help people who were in similar situations that my family was in. Operating on five hours of sleep a night, his time management and personality are special. The thing about Sammy is, is that uh, he seems to do it all. I don't have a lot of free time, but it's definitely being on the varsity team has helped me to allot my time a lot better. He's very social with the guys on the team. He's looking for things to do in the community. The guy literally is making the most of his life. Sam Bollinger, Penn State Soccer's Big Ten Scholar Athlete of Distinction. Perfect. We get a picture. 
Absolutely. How you doing? This is my little son here. Let's just get him a selfie here. Three, two, one. All right. Absolutely. You love this shit. You too. Thank Jersey you. In the house. Thank you. you. Love <laughs> it. All right. Unrivaled, the Penn State football story is brought to you by Pepsi. Grab a Pepsi and some friends and get in the game. Pepsi, proud partner of the Penn State Nittany Lions. Also brought to you in part by PSECU. Since 1934, PSECU has given Pennsylvanians financial opportunities to live a better life. At PSECU, we are proud of who we are and committed to who we serve because our Pennsylvania roots run deep. We are banking on a difference. This week on campus in Penn State Athletics, the Penn State women's soccer team will host North Carolina at Jeffrey Field Thursday night at 7 o'clock. On Friday, the cross-country team hosts the Spike Shoe Invitational. It starts at 10 a.m. at the golf course. Men's soccer team on Friday night will take on St. Francis at Jeffrey Field. That will start at 7 o'clock. And next Thursday, the 14th, the women's soccer team opens the Big Ten season at Jeffrey Field when they take on Northwestern. That will start at 7. That's this week in Penn State Athletics on campus. I understand the significance of this game, and I understand the importance of this game, um, but I'm also a huge believer that this is the most important game on our schedule because it's the one this week. Last week, the Akron game was the most important game in the universe for us. This week, the Pitt game is the most important game in the universe. It's the only thing that, that exists for us. Practice. Uh, we're going to make a slight change on Tuesday. I'm going to talk to you guys about what we're doing now. Typical Tuesday practice, but what we're going to do is every other week, the good on good stuff that we do, we're going to start with the beginning of practice. So I want to make sure that we're focused of starting out strong in games and starting out strong in practice and go good on good. Scout teams, you guys got to do a great job this week with all these different looks. Motion, shifts, trades, being physical, all that kind of, on both sides, to be honest with you. We'll always go outside to train in playing whatever the weather is going to be. Unless it's just ridiculous, or that week we've had multiple days, and I feel like we've gotten enough work in it, then we would go inside. If it's thunder and lightning, obviously we have no choice. But we need to, we need to practice in these elements because we're going to play in these elements. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Win the day. That's all that matters right there. Win the day. Let's go. Feeling great, man. Feeling great. Big week for us, man. Feeling amazing. Pit week, baby. Into officials. Do what you got to do today to beat the guy on the other side of the ball. Let's go. Oh, one, three, grind on six. One, two, three. Oh. One, five, six. Hey, right from the beginning. Mentality, attitude. <laughs> Last year we went to their place and it was a tough environment. You know, it was early in the season. We still hadn't kind of, you know, gotten our identity. It was a hostile environment. And, and I think they were a talented team. Uh, very challenging offense. Uh, probably, uh, you know, more similar to a Stanford, Michigan State style of offense. Um, multiple personnel groups, multiple formations. We'll be able to look back. We got a, a full season to film on them. Uh, plus one game from this year to be able to see all the different things that they've done to try and attack uh, offenses throughout the years. Kind of through the years, um, you know, that, that defense is kind of, they do what they do. Um, they, they don't necessarily change up too much. Uh, obviously, we've got to be able to expect a pressure of the week or something different that's uh, going to try and throw us off. When you watch, you watch the first two, uh, maybe the first three drives um, against Youngstown, it, it looks... It looks like you know the same stuff that they ran last year. You know, trades, shifts, motions, unbalanced, fly sweep, fake fly sweep. Um, you know, inside zone, power, split zone. You know, those types of things. You create your own destiny by what you do and the way you practice. 
Once this is over, once we go on that, that field, all that practice stuff is put to bed, and then we got to go out there and execute. Everybody got me? You guys are communicating, and you're working at it like crazy, man. And then when you come out, you're back there behind us, and you're talking through it again. That's how you get better. That's how you get it. I, I, I thought the energy overall at practice was good. I'm going to watch the tape and find out, but let's just keep building. There's some a lot of new wrinkles in the game plan on offense and on defense and on special teams, how we're asking you to fit things on kickoff coverage and things like that. Offensive scout team was great. Really good job. Yeah, baby. Tempo. Yeah. Nice work, man. Do it again tomorrow. Let's just make sure that we get everything corrected from today so tomorrow we can practice at another level. Saturday's Keystone Classic between Penn State and Pittsburgh will be presented by People's Natural Gas. People's Natural Gas cares about the communities we serve because our employees live here too. People's, making your life better. Visit peoples-gas.com to learn more. Kickoff is at 3.30.